some people may not talk much about their supernatural experiences. Why not? I guess I can kind of understand why, but I think in some cases, it may help some people. And you may ask me how. I think anyone who is trying to live for God, trying to do right by Him, I think they are going to have some bad supernatural experiences. I truly believe it. So if any of them, if any of those people believe that they should not have stuff like that and they do have it, it may really freak them out bad or discourage them from trying to live for God. I may be wrong about that, but I believe it to be true. So I guess if more people would speak about their bad supernatural experiences, I guess some may not, I believe some probably should not be spoken about, but perhaps some should, maybe. Okay. So I am going to tell you one of mine, and I am not telling you it to make you afraid. I am not telling you it because I am giving glory to demons. I am not telling you it because of whatever else. I believe one of the reasons I am telling you it, I guess, to prepare you in case something bad happens to you, which I believe it is. I think it is a matter of time. Okay. And I am kind of hazy on the details, so I may not be 100% accurate, but let me try anyway. I think I was woken up three times from something that seemed like a dream. And in most dreams, I don't really think they are dreams. I believe most dreams are supernatural experiences. I think some dreams seem way too real. I am serious. So I believe I was woken up maybe three times from a dream. Okay. I believe each time I was dreaming or whatever, I heard a sound of a chainsaw. Like, you know what a chainsaw is, right? Like, I guess the sound was something like, which... I don't really know the proper sound of a chainsaw, or should I say, I don't really know how to make the proper sound of a chainsaw. So something like, <coughs> okay, <coughs> okay. And on certain parts of my body, I would feel pressure on it as if something was trying to cut me or act like it was or I have no idea but I felt pressure as if something was 
putting a chainsaw on me or something. But I did not feel like cutting type of pain. Okay. And I believe the first time when it happened, I think something came to my mind and told me to pray, but I was sleepy and lazy, I guess. I think twice I may have said a small prayer, but not really the way that I probably should have had. So I think the fourth time I was not asleep, but... I think I was not asleep, but I closed my eyes. And the chainsaw sound came, right? And I believe around that time, I felt pressure on my eye as if it was cutting my eye or trying to cut my eye. And I think my back and I'm serious, inside of my behind, and that may make you laugh or whatever, but if you were to go through something like that, it is very, I believe it is very, very disturbing. So when that happened, probably some more things happened, but after that, I got down on my knees and started to pray. And I forget how long I was praying for, but I believe I fell to sleep while praying or while I was praying, I think afterward, I fell to sleep, if I am saying that correctly. And when I went to sleep, that chainsaw stuff did not happen again. Okay. You may go through supernatural experiences. Think it not strange. You may go through, you may have a very bad dream. Think it not strange. Don't become discouraged to live for God. If you begin to have bad supernatural experiences, because I believe they are going to happen. Don't get to the point to where you are afraid to go to sleep. If fear consumes you, I think that is a very good time to pray. Don't be at the point to where you don't want to be in your room alone. I think if you begin to start those bad habits, I think demons are going to play on that and probably push it more. Probably get you to do worse things, probably. If you are trying to live for God, if you are trying to please him, if you are trying to do what is right, I believe the enemy is going to be on your back, so to speak. Figuratively speaking, I guess I can say. So, something may have happened to you in, in the past. And... You may be afraid to pray. You may be afraid to do this or that because you may think to yourself, well, if I do that, something terrible may happen to you, which it may, but don't let that stop you. So many things, I believe so many supernatural things has happened to me. What if I was like, well, I am not going to live for God because, you know, I may see a demon or this may happen or, you know, demons may mess with my sleep and stuff like that. What if I was like that? 
What if I was like, you know, I am not going to pray for anyone because their demons may mess with me. My sleep may be interrupted or this or that may happen to me. Push through. I believe we are in a spiritual war. Don't give up. Even if a bad thing happens to you, push harder. There is someone I pray with, and I believe the thing I tell that person, in so many words, I guess, if demons are attacking, attack back. Don't let it discourage you. I believe demons will attack until the day you die. So stay encouraged. No matter what happens. Let me stop here. God bless you.